All right. Welcome to the February 27th, 2024 Aries Cloud Agent Python Maintainers meeting. Um, normal PRs and issues to talk about release 1.0. Um, things going on um, that we're well aware of, adding support in Acapi for non-creds, um, the out-of-band invitations um, that came up this week, and Ian's been working on that, and then um, the discussions and comments that are going into upgrading wallet types. So those are the topics for the day. Um, if anyone has anything else, let me know and we can hit those as we go. Reminder, this is a Linux Foundation and Hyperledger Foundation meeting. So the antitrust policy of the Linux Foundation is in effect, as is the code of conduct of the Hyperledger Foundation. So please follow that. Um, posted in the chat the um, information about the meeting. So feel free to jump in and edit. Um, PRs, I think we're pretty up to date on, uh, the PRs. Um, oh, that's a new one, but, oh, open last week. Okay. Um, that one will get updated. Oh, it looks like it failed something, but anyway, um, this is the W3C format, um, one, um, we've got the did exchange did peer uh, related fixes be good to get those move forward. I don't know if um, Daniel can hand them off to anybody. Um, this is definitely not going to happen. I don't, yeah, this is not going to happen. The please act. So this will be closed um, soon. Um, we've removed please act uh, and retired the protocol in the Aries RFCs. So this will be closed with a reference to that. These two will be closed. And then the last one, Akif is now working on this did rotate protocol from the Akif from the BC Gov team. So um, we're working on that now and that will um, be completed. Um, might even have been completed yesterday. He was um, hopeful to have it finished. Um, Daniel did a lot of the work. Um, uh, Akif had some... Uh, additions to it and then test cases to write. So that was moving forward. And then these ones are are likely to be closed, I would think, although Daniel um, did work on that one. So pull requests are pretty up-to-date issues. Um, the big ones are the upgrade. Um, I haven't had a chance to re-review re those, but we'll talk about those a bit. Um, uh these are documentation things. Um, eventually, I'll ask someone to look at that one. It's pretty minor stuff, but nice to clean up. Um, I don't think there's any of these we want to really look at. Um, so I think we're okay to move on to the the topics because these the what the ones that are in here that we want to talk about are covered by the. Um, uh, by the topics we're going to go through. Um, so if I go back to the meeting, um, let's move release 1.0 down and do that at the end. Um, Ian, um, did you have a meeting with um, the What's Cooking folks yet, or is that still being arranged? It's still being arranged. Okay. Um, we, I, I had a discussion on uh, Discord with the developer uh, in Myanmar. He's yeah. having all, all kinds of non hyperledger related difficulties in that country. Really? Yeah. Anyway, no. uh, yeah. So they've got another developer they're bringing on the project. And um, so they were going to schedule a meeting for Wednesday morning with everyone so that I could get an update. But then I got a text on discord last night at 10 p.m. asking if I wanted to join the developers meeting, but I was asleep by then. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully, hopefully we'll, we'll still be on. I'll follow up with them. Like okay. first thing Wednesday morning, I'll just ping them and just make sure yeah. we're having them in, or I'll, you know, I'll follow up and get a status, but it's been slow. The work has been slow on that one. So. Um, one thing you want to do is encourage them to be ready for an Acapug um, presentation for next Tuesday, if they can. Okay. So no matter where they are, I'd really appreciate it if they could come on and, and present where they are. Yeah, there was, it looks like the, 
there's a couple of issues with the demo. I, I sent them um, a couple of updates that they need to make. Like I pointed out a couple of changes they need to make. And then yeah. there's, there's some other issues that I ran into that I, but I'll, I'll, I'll try and work with them to make sure they get the, at least the demo working. Yeah. Okay. I'll include that in the um, instructions and just assume that, but if you could, yeah, it'd be great if you could arrange a meeting with them this week. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, out of band invitation supporting peer dates and connection reuse. So I, I had kind of thought, but wasn't sure that was supported. And so um, put in a topic to say, okay, let's make sure this works. <laughs> and after looking at it for a bit, Ian's determined it does, it is not supported. Um, so um, Ian is working on that. There's an issue in that he's put and documented what he's, he's working on. Um, but to summarize it quickly, enabling, um, creating peer dids that can be used in invitations, um, reusing the same peer did in all invitations, whether they be used single use or multi-use invitations. And that is necessary um, to use, uh, did peer did types two or four is necessary uh, in an out of band invitation to allow a invitee, the person receiving the invitation to find out and reuse the connection they already have. So you have to have a did um, that is fully resolvable as a did. So uh, a did solve that is published on a ledger works, and we've used that in the past. But a peer did of type two or four is also a fully self-contained um, did doc inside the did string. And so um, they work for connection reuse. <clears throat> so um, that's what at Ian's adding support for. Um, he's adding a way to bypass. Uh, so the default method would generally that you use the peer did two or four um, as the way to um, generate a peer did uh, and, and use it for all invitations, um, but also adding a way to bypass that. So a, um, a an agent could choose to allow for separate ones if they want, uh, you know, uh, not use, um, reuse, and there's use cases for that, of which Ian has worked on one in the past. Um, and then um, and then working on the uh, invitee side to make sure that reuse is um, enabled there by default. I think I think on the invitee side that everything should work. I think so, yeah. But yeah. on the inviter side, um, first is to add support for creating did peer through the uh, through the wallet did create endpoint, which right now the did peer two and did peer four doesn't work. And also, we're going to put a tag on or enable putting a tag on the did to uh, to specify which did is actually going to be used as the did for invites, and then just make integrate that into the out of band. Invitation. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Ian. Um, Upgrading wallet types. So we've had a number of conver conversations um, here. So the specific issue we have right now is we have an ask our wallet type and um, and we have an ask our and non creds wallet types wallet type and we want to enable a uh, Akapai instance to upgrade from ASCAR to ASCAR and on-creds, but we want to also uh, give a tenant in a multi, um, in a a, uh, a multi-tenant Akapai 
configuration the ability to upgrade upgrade on their own time so we don't have to run an Akapai upgrade that upgrades all the wallets because that will require all of the controllers simultaneously updating their code to use new endpoints. What we want to enable is allowing each tenant to choose when they want to upgrade, giving them a mechanism that they can um, indicate, okay, upgrade. And, um, and they would do that in a way that simultaneously updates their endpoints. So the scenario we envision is that a tenant controller will release a new version of their controller, will scale down all of their old controller instances, will start up new ones. In the new ones, um, there will be a upgrade wallet type command executed as part of the initialization, so an endpoint to do that. That will trigger the um, batch operation that will update all of the uh, all of the records necessary in the wallet, all of the relevant records, and then we'll proceed with using it. And the new controller will use the new endpoints that are required when you go to Ascar and Oncreds. So that should give every tenant full control over their upgrade. Um, Ascar to Ascar and non-creds is the current use case. We do anticipate that at some point there will be another wallet type. So this is very similar to a version to version upgrade. Um, but uh, you know, and in a, in a traditional app where you an, uh, uh, upgrading a version requires updating the database in some way. Um, in this case, the database upgrade is constrained to just upgrading data records. There's no change in the database schema or structure of the database. So no need to, you know, do anything like that. And um, yeah, and, and as I say, it comes with an associated change in endpoints. So that's why we think this, this will approach will work. Um, Ian and others, Comment on what I just said. Did I cover it correctly? Yeah. So just to, there's two tickets that we've created. So the first ticket is just to make sure that the Akapai can support both wallet types simultaneously. Uh, because right now, the, the way we initially did the non creds integration was when you start up Akapai, either with Askar or Askar non creds, it'll enable the appropriate endpoints. Um, so we need for the multi-tenancy for all of the endpoints to be available. So, so that's what the first ticket describes is how the, um, making sure that, it, that Akapai can, can support that. And then the second ticket is the actual upgrade process, how the upgrade process is gonna, gonna be built. And it needs to work for multi-tenancy the way Stephen described, but it also needs to work for a single tenant Akapai as well. And uh, just uh, kind of related, like I, we have to think about this multi-tenancy upgrade anytime we do anything that is a breaking change. You know? So in, the, in this case, you know, it's, it's fairly straightforward. We're creating new endpoints for the non-creds. So, you know, the controller has to switch over to use the new endpoints and then, you know, they, they do the upgrade when they, uh, you know, when they do, when they do their update to the controller, but anytime there's a breaking change now, I think we need to evaluate yeah. if it's going to have an impact on multi-tenant. And I think this is really something we want to get finished for the 1.0 release. Um, and it'll be a, a barrier to getting to 1.0, but being on 1.0 is also a, a, a benefit. So you're, we're doing a carrot and stick on this one, I think, which is um, helpful. So I think that's the plan here is um, we get all this work done in preparation for the 1.0 release. Does that sound right to anyone? Any comments? Okay. 
Um, as far as the one point um one release, um we've got our flag. Um we still haven't had really the LTS discussion, and it's something I'll probably think about while I'm sitting in a cabin in the woods to try to go over um exactly what that would mean. Um we have got this resolved so this one is now resolved that one is almost resolved i guess um that's to be completed but um, we're pretty close to that and then if i come back to issues if we go to 1.0 um so the biggest one that's a concern is this one um so we'll have to think about this one. I don't know if anyone, um, um, Shar, Alex, or Adam can talk to Daniel about um, what he suggests we do with this one. Um, but this is this one would be a good one to finish off. I know Daniel had that as a sort of a a local branch that he was doing to make sure and running a bunch of tests. So um, he had an easy way to do it. Maybe um, if one of the three of you could talk to him about that and and see if we could um, get someone to take that one over, at least understand how to do it and move it forward. Good, thanks. Thanks, Char. Um, Akif, I don't know if you were there when I first talked about this. Any comments on did rotate at this point? You're on mute if you're speaking, and if you're not. Sorry, my uh, my mic was frozen. Uh, I'm ah. gonna put some changes up today, and hopefully start getting the process going for getting some uh, comments on that. So, excellent, good. So it's pretty close. You're happy with it? You think it's gonna be a, a issue to finish, or is it all right? I think it'll be fine. I do have a question uh, just regarding the hang up uh, part portion. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. But I don't think it's going to, I don't think it's too critical for the rest of the stuff, like the actual rotation part of it. Yeah. But just in terms of the way it was written is the hang up uh, message takes a two did. And I'm not sure if the intention there was that to link it to the did that was initially you were trying to rotate to. So that was something I wanted to maybe ask uh, Daniel about, but um, it wasn't. It's not documented in the RFC, so I don't know what the intention was there. I or would I I would say post it on Discord, and I would talk to Sam about it because I think Sam did the did rotate. I'm pretty sure the intention of hang up is to, to tell the other one, hey, I'm deleting. To tell the other side, I'm deleting your record, so I'm never going to be able to receive a message from you again. You yeah, can do so, what you want. Yeah. So I think I think in that in that context, it wouldn't even matter if you sent it with the did that you were trying to rotate to because the intention exactly. is to just sever the connection altogether. So exactly. The the intention is to sever the 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 um you can confirm that with Sam, but okay. um yeah, that is definitely the intention of the hang up. Okay. Otherwise the rest of it is looking pretty good. Yep. Excellent. Good to hear. Okay. Um, okay, the last one that I realize um, will come up and I am hesitate to ask because we just are still not completely finished defining and, and deciding exactly what to implement, but I think we're there for what, pretty close for what we're do, gonna do for upgrading. Um, the, the next one we're going to have to consider from a um, from an non creds is a um, uh, how to add a new did method. Creds supporting did method. Um, we've not done that yet. We do have a potential offer from Hedera because they want to add one to an uh, to Akapai. Um, but that is another one we want to support, which is, um, yeah, 
another did method, another ledger, basically. Um, so one hopes that with the Anoncreds um, ledger agnostic, that there is a straightforward definition of how you do that. Um, but as far as I know, we have not tested that theory. And um, so that will be the next thing that comes up. I don't know, Ian, if you have any comments. Have you seen anything in that area yet? Have you taken a look at that? Uh, well, the way that the the new and Anchorage module is architected, it's got, I can't remember the term exactly, something like a plugin. Yeah. So it's, theoretically, we should be able yeah. to do it. But I suspect yeah. we've got like other uh touch points in the code like just you know for example on the wallet create where we're creating dids in the wallet it's got you know uh a hard-coded list of of did types that it supports yes yeah. so if we want to so depending on you know how much support we want there there might be you know other places but i think if i mean it there might be some tinkering if we if we want to do it by a plugin but i don't think for for adding a new ledger and a new did type. I don't think it's going to be too onerous, but there's just might be some places in the code where we've got yeah. stuff hard coded still. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. Well, that's starting that conversation. Um, we're definitely going to have more to come on that one. So um, just be ready for that. Um, any comments from anyone else? Um, before we wrap up, we're just at end of time. All right. Okay. Um, Alex, while you're here, um, Akrita is working great. Um, just so you know, we're um, continuing to use it in BC Gov, certainly, and, and um, highly successful at at running our tests and and getting things done we're adding a um the last one we're going to add is a verification test where you in the initial setup you get a credential and then in the loop for each agent is just hammering on a verification to see how how um you know what the you know how much um a we can hit a a, a verification um service so Awesome. That, what's that? Awesome. Okay. <laughs> I heard that. Excellent. Okay. All right. Well, thanks all. That wraps up and um, we'll see you at the ACAPUG meeting next week. Um, and we'll talk about probably some of these things. Again, if anyone has any topics they want to go over for the ACAPUG meeting, um, let me know. Otherwise, have a great week. See ya. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah.